What's going on guys? Welcome back to Call of Duty World War II on Black Tide TV. I apologize, I missed an upload yesterday, but I will be making up for it with a double upload at some point this week. Likely we're going to do something over the weekend because the weekend on YouTube is extremely slow and I've mentioned this on a couple occasions. I myself watch a lot of YouTube and my watch later list during the week is probably 20 to 30 videos every single day. The second I hit Friday through Sunday, my watch later list is non-existent. I'm totally caught up within a matter of 20 minutes of watching videos. So I find the weekend very, very slow on YouTube and that's why I dedicate myself to making a video every single day so that you guys have entertainment on the weekend as well because the weekend is when you'd expect to have more entertainment, but we'll get to that double upload at some point some more Call of Duty World War II headed your way, so keep an eye out for that. But in today's video, we're talking ranked play. And this is why I missed my upload yesterday. I didn't have a whole time, a whole lot of time to make my video yesterday. And I really wanted to place in ranked before I got the gameplay for you, before I got the commentary and I got everything out of the way. I really wanted to experience ranked in its raw form and just play through it and kind of experience it without any obligations of, okay, I got to make a video here. I'm trying to make a great gameplay so I can make a video. This gameplay that you're seeing is one of my placement matches, a search and destroy on Gibraltar. And we're basically just going to talk about the unspoken requirements of rank play currently. And I've also got some class build options for you because there are so many people in rank that don't know how to play rank. They don't know what ranked is. And it's honestly the most frustrating thing ever because this is actually a really good rank play mode. I'm really enjoying the ranked in this game. Previous games have not done ranked proper justice. I think the best rank play that there's ever been in a Call of Duty game would, would have been Black Ops 2. And this feels very similar to that. It's very much on par with like the Black Ops 2 rank play. I really, really enjoy the rank play system. I'm going to have to see how the progression works through the different levels once you have reached uh, progression itself. I just placed into Silver before I made today's video. I haven't played any games after my placement, so we'll have to see for there. But in terms of placement itself, like I said, I've just run into so many fooligans that don't know what they're doing and it's driving me nuts so we're talking the unspoken rules the unspoken requirements and regulations of rank play mode first so number one use a goddamn microphone and i am actually pretty frustrated about this because the amount of times i've come into a lobby where three players on my team are not using a microphone no communication Rank play is all about winning games. It's not about your kill-death ratio. It's not about having a great gameplay or performing really well. It's about winning games, playing as a team, which we're going to get to in a second. But you absolutely, absolutely have to have a microphone. I'm surprised that game chat isn't required. There's actually one game mode in all of Call of Duty World War II that you are required to go in game chat, and that's search and destroy in hardcore mode. Why rank play isn't game chat required, I'm not sure. I believe in previous rank play modes and other Call of Duty games, uh, game chat was required, but it's not here. So people can just not have a microphone and they can just fuck off and you don't get to have any communication and you're basically going to lose. The instant you don't have any communication in rank play, you're going to lose because I can guarantee you at least two players on the enemy team will likely have a microphone. If people are taking rank play seriously, they will have a microphone hooked up and they will be talking on comms, giving shout outs, giving call outs, telling people where your location is. They're not stupid. Rank play is a serious competitive mode. And if you are not going to focus in on rank play, if you're not going to focus on this game mode, you don't have a serious will to succeed and you're not about to put in the teamwork. Don't play rank mode. I'm serious. It's not a joke. This is a competitive mode. This is basically one step below MLG. You've got your game battles, your MLG stuff, and then you've got your pros. Under that, you've got your rank play mode. This is a serious mode, and I understand that this is the first season, and the first season is always toxic with all of these random players just coming in saying, oh, rank play, I think I can do that, just trying to think that it's another game mode to play. It's not. It's a serious mode, and you have to treat it as such. This is where serious players go to play. So you have to have a microphone. You have to communicate. And right now, for some reason, parties aren't available. Like, you're not allowed to go in with multiple people. So, especially right now, during this first season, when you aren't allowed to have a party, you absolutely have to have a microphone so you can talk to people because you will lose if you do not have a microphone. You're also going to have to have really good map and weapon knowledge, which I'm going to give you the weapon knowledge in a minute. I'm going to tell you the weapons you should be using in rank mode. From my experience, from all the weapons I've seen people using and just 
be me knowing quite a bit about the game, I can tell you for certain that these are some of the best weapons in the game and you absolutely should be using these weapons. And the map knowledge is really up to you. You got to play enough Call of Duty World War II at this point. Hopefully, if you're thinking about going into rank, you've already played enough Call of Duty World War II and you know something about the maps. You know where the bomb locations are. You know how to call out certain areas so that you can give those quick shoutouts to your teammates. You need to know about the maps. You need to know about the game modes. You need to know the rotations for hardpoint. You need to know the bomb sites for, bomb for search and destroy. You need to know how to call out. And you need to know your, your weapons. You need to know how to build your classes. So that's not even just weapons. That's also all of your basic trainings. That's all of your uh, divisions and stuff. Because certain people are using friggin' stupid shit. I've seen people using infantry and expeditionary divisions in search and destroy. It's like, no. This is not what you do in Search and Destroy. You use Mountain Division, but we're going to talk about your class builds in just a moment. First, I'd like to tell you about all the things that are banned in Rank Play currently. I believe these are basically mirror mirroring CWL rules. So CWL rules and Rank Play rules are basically the same thing, if I'm not mistaken. And the other thing that I should mention is that this isn't exactly caught up to CWL rules. I was talking to some people in Ranked earlier, and Molotovs aren't banned yet. But apparently Molotovs just recently were banned in CWL, and so because they were recently banned, they haven't really come into effect with Rank Mode because Rank Mode was added just before they were recently banned. So apparently Rank Mode is going to be catching up to CWL and following CWL rules, but I'm not sure if it's 100% shot for shot CWL. But the things that are banned currently in terms of basic trainings, you've got your espionage launched, Re requisitions, instincts, riflemen, lookout, ordnance, bang, concussed. That's a lot of basic trainings. In terms of your divisions, you cannot use the armored LMG bipod and you can't use the expeditionary shotgun incendiary rounds. Now, it's funny because you can't use the armored LMG bipod. Well, you can't use LMGs in general anyways. You cannot use any of the LMGs. For whatever reason, they are banned. I don't know why the pros would want to ban the LMGs. They're not even that good in this game, but all of the LMGs are completely banned. You can't use them on any division. In terms of attachments, you cannot use high caliber or rapid fire. You can't use the S mine 44 or satchel charge. And in terms of score streaks, UAV, CUAV, care package, emergency airdrop, and paratroopers are all banned. Now, for some class build options, the weapons that you should be looking at when you're making a rank play class build, which awesome thing about this. When you go into rank play, you make your own class builds for rank play. I thought you would have to use the same class builds in your regular creative class, and then it would just like say, oh, you can't use this because it's banned. But there's actually 15 creative class slots in ranked prepared for you to make your classes, which is awesome. So the weapons you should be looking at and everything is completely available. You don't have to rank up. It's completely available to you. PPSH 41 is your go-to SMG. Everyone uses the PPSH. It's probably the best SMG in the entire game. Just use it. It's the best SMG. So if you're looking for an SMG, PPSH all the, all the day. FG42. This is the go-to assault rifle now that the bar has been nerfed. The bar was the go-to assault rifle. Everyone was using it. But now the bar has increased recoil. It's not as effective. The FG42 is a three-shot kill pretty much across the map. It's a very, very powerful assault rifle if you are accurate enough to use it. So the FG42 is your go-to assault rifle for when you're playing defense. I would say PPSH is best for offense and FG42 is best for defense or long range gunfights. Some other weapons that I could recommend would be the M1941, the Type 100, STG44, that one's an iffy one for me because I'm not the biggest fan of that one. I have a love-hate relationship with the STG and the bar. The bar is still good, it's just that you really need to be in a close quarters engagement to make it work for you. Do not use the shotguns. In any circumstance, do not use the shotguns. You will be outperformed in pretty much every gunfight. And don't use sniper rifles unless you feel like you're a sniper god. If you're a sniper god, if you're in phase, if you're in whatever any of those other sniper clans, then you can use a sniper rifle. But I wouldn't generally recommend snipers, even in, even in search and destroy. It's just not worth it. Use the weapons that you're more comfortable with. Any secondary is fine, and for equipment, you're going to want to use frag grenades. Frag grenades are the most versatile piece of equipment in the game. You can use them, you can cook them, and you can throw them really far, and they do a lot of damage, and they have a good blast radius. Frag grenades are the best equipment to use, and I wouldn't use anything else besides frag grenades. When you're in search and destroy, use mountain division. There is no other way about it. You do not use airborne, you do not use armored, you do not use anything. You use mountain division when you're playing search and destroy. I would also recommend Hunker or Hustle for your basic training. Hunker is basically the explosive resistance from Armored, so you can have Mountain Division Silence with Hunker 
to protect yourself from explosions in Search and Destroy, or hustle to reload faster. In Hardpoint, this is where you're going to want to use your armor division so that you can uh, withstand the explosions, you can withstand the tactical grenades if anyone's using those. And then I would also recommend Inconspicuous to, so your footsteps are a little quieter, or Hustle so you can reload faster depending on which weapon you're using. For Capture the Flag, Airborne or Armor Division. Airborne if you're going to be running flags, Armored if you're going to be defending flags. If you're using Airborne, I would also recommend Energetic so you can sprint again sooner or inconspicuous to stay off the radar, or not to stay off the radar, but to keep your footsteps quiet. If you're playing the defense, I'll go hunker or hustle. But that is it for my rank play guide or my rank play requirements video. What rank did you rank into? Did you place in rank mode? Let me know in the comment section down below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed today's video, subscribe if you're new, and I will catch you guys on the next video.